Hello everyone, Shindo Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards and I had a request to do a video about the Death Guard, so here they are. All of the Death Guard cards in the game, uh, there's one Warlord and nine Bodyguards at the moment. Uh, I only have seven of those Bodyguards in my collection. Of course, Death Guard are just a very small sub-faction of Chaos. There's no real reason to run them all together unless you're just looking for a thematic deck. Uh, if you were going that route, I would suggest including more Nurgle Demons in your deck, uh, because that would uh, give you a lot more options, especially some powerful ones like the, the Great Unclean one. But we're just going to be looking at the Death Guard specifically in this video. So, uh, starting off the Warlord, Glogothrox the Foul. Uh, he is one of the weaker Warlords in the game, doesn't really have the greatest special rule. Uh, he's pretty tough and resilient, he's got fear for his trait, uh, only one attack type though, which is uh, not really that strong. His special rule, Nurgle's Rot, slowly degrades the enemy's attack type as they kill your units, so to best combo with this, uh, there are a couple bodyguards that work well. The best ones are these Poxwalkers, which have Endless, they can respawn, so you get two for the price of one. Uh, this Poxwalker is not really that great, he has regeneration, which is not so good on a cheap fodder card uh, like this. Uh, this guy I've used a little bit, the, the Plague Marine with uh, Poison. Uh, a lot of Death Guard have Poison, unsurprisingly, uh, which is also not a very good trait, unfortunately, uh, and there's really not much reason to be running a whole bunch of Poisonous Bodyguards in your deck either. Uh, this one is just kind of nice because he's uh, cheap and he's got uh, you know both ranged and melee. Uh, the Plague Surgeon is only melee, but he does debuff ranged, which can be useful. And uh, Medicae is a very useful trait. For a long time, this guy was the only bodyguard that Chaos had with Medicae. Uh, now there are at least three more options, though. But this guy's been around the longest, so I have him at a pretty high level. Still use him quite a bit in a variety of decks. Death Guard do have some really cool models, though, like uh, the Lord of Virulence here. Now this guy's an epic, so he starts off with poison and gains regeneration at level 9, which I do not have him at that level just yet. Pretty powerful ranged and melee attack. And then we got Typhus. Uh, this guy also, of course, has poison and unlocks Fear at level 9. Uh, another pretty old card, so I have him at a high level. Uh, he doesn't really have the greatest stats, so I don't really use him much. Bloat Drone, another very cool model. This one has a pretty strong ranged attack, a weak melee attack. And then the cards that I don't have, this is uh, this is the newest one. It's uh, the Biologus Putrefier. If you're willing to pay a couple bucks, uh, you can actually get the Death Guard themed bundle in the shop, uh, including this guy. He also has poison, and at 23 points he's sort of just in between the Lord of Virulence and the Plague Marine in terms of stats. He has a slightly stronger melee attack though. And then finally another pretty new card here, the Plague Burst Crawler. This is a really big uh, tank with Barrage, and then as an epic it unlocks poison at level 9. So this one is actually quite good. Barrage and poison is a great combo, especially at the max level. Um, unfortunately, uh, this was a card that you have to pay for, so I don't have it, and um, you don't really want to be running a whole bunch of poison cards in your deck, generally, so uh, it wouldn't really make sense to run it alongside some of these other guys. But, uh, just for fun, we're going to be playing a match as the Death Guard. I'm also including two other guys that are not exactly Death Guard, although they resemble them. we got the, the Shambler here with Taunt. This is a solid card. Four points for a Taunt minion, very useful. And then Volgar Thrice Curse, this guy is actually pretty decent, I think. Uh, pretty tanky. Solid attack types, regeneration, and then he has unlocked Death Blow at level 9. So, I will go ahead and deploy into ranked mode and see how the Death Guard do in this thematic deck here. In this match, we're facing off against the Space Marines, led by Captain Acheron. So, uh, yeah, this could take a little while to get through, I think. Uh, we're going to deploy Volgar Thrice. Cursed here at the beginning, they got Tigurius. Uh, let's see, what level are these guys? Level 11, these are actually pretty high levels here. I think we're going to toss the Pox Walkers in front of Tigurius uh, to get him debuffed a little bit there. Mephiston would also be a, a nice target there. So um, I guess uh, we could go like this perhaps, drop the, uh, the Shambler there. So he'll take the main Psychic attack and then uh, we want to be debuffing both Tigurius and Mephiston if possible. Uh, they do have the initiative, so they got the first turn here, debuffing my ranged. And then go, there goes the Shambler, there goes the the um, Nurgle's Rot, debuffing both those guys once. The Poxwalker respawns. And let's see. Um, well, I suppose we can drop Typhus here. And then go for a melee attack, perhaps? Uh, our range got debuffed, so yeah, it's not going to be dealing very much damage. We want to take out the shields on Tigurius, so... Poxwalker uh, is doing a fine job of that. 
And he still has one shield remaining. Actually, I lied. He still has uh, three shields. What? This guy has max level shields? Okay. Uh, maybe I should be paying more attention then. That's going to take a little while to get through, I think. So I think we want Typhus across from him because he has uh, the psychic attack, so we'll be able to um, retaliate on their turn. Oh, we'll drop the Plague Surgeon here for the, the, medic the healing. And then, wow, 74 damage from Mephiston. That's still quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go melee here. Yeah, we are also getting debuffed by the, the fear from Mephiston, so that's not really very great. But yeah, at least Tigurius, he's doing hardly any damage. Yeah, the Nurgle's Rot and Fear combined can really uh, bring down the attack power on something by a vast amount. And ideally, we will want to do that uh, before Mephiston's death blow goes off. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep going uh, the melee here. Man, I still got the, the Iron Halo, though. This is going to take forever. I'm going to speed up the game, actually, because this is just taking way too long. Um, I'm going to go full speed ahead. And we got the Poison Clouds spinning around furiously here. Um, let's go with... Well, we'll drop the, the Plague Marine over here. And see what this looks like. So Tigurius now is no longer getting debuffed by uh, fear. But uh, the regeneration on Volgar should keep him alive for a pretty good amount of time, I think. Regenerating 12 health a turn. Uh, we'll go with... We'll go with the ranged attack here. And actually the poison. Poison is decent against Captain Akron's Iron Halo, actually. So the, it will finish off the Apothecary, which did get saved uh, by that Iron Halo. So that at least is good. But now we got another damage dealer over there. Neal Stormcaller, he's going to be dealing a whole lot of damage. And uh, he will get the kill there on the Plague Marine. So he gets debuffed. Uh, we want to poison him, obviously. So we're going to drop the Bloat Drone, I suppose. And we're going to hit him with uh, a ranged attack here. 76 damage. Get him poisoned. Yeah, Volgar is uh, doing fine, but Typhus over there is not looking so great. Uh, even with the fear, uh, Mephiston's still doing a lot of damage. And whoa, the Sinic Blast almost killed uh, him right there. But uh, yeah, Mephiston's getting the debuff there. So, I mean, he still has really high stats. Like, look at the levels on these guys. Level 11 legendaries. These are pretty crazy. Um... All right, well, now we can just go all out with the, the ranged attacks, at least. Uh, we could do a melee as well, I suppose, but, um, yeah, Niall is still pretty strong, unfortunately. Yeah, they got Inspiring Presence, too, so uh, this is not great. Uh, 12 damage from the poison. Signing Bloss still dealing a lot of damage. Uh, they can't kill anything this turn. All right, we can finally uh, get the Iron Halo to activate here, and then the poison will finish them off, but they still have two more bodyguards. So, I cannot see this ending well for uh, the death guard, I'm afraid. Now you got healers, a tech marine, and oh, scout, okay, he's not going to do too well. Look at the uh, the attack, though. I mean, they had a huge attack charged up there. So yeah, they, they kill the bloat drone. Volgar's about to die. Uh, things just are not looking so great here anymore. Uh, we do have to deploy, I think, um, we have to shift Volgar across from Mephiston or else he's just going to be taking a lot of damage, I think. So, uh, we'll go with, um, I mean, sure, we'll go melee. Uh, but yeah, the tech is just going to survive. He hasn't been poisoned, although, well, he gets killed by the death blow from Volgar, so there's that. But now they can just go ranged and, uh, Glogothrax can't do anything. Uh, three shields on Akron, so yeah, the... This is where the, the mono attack, it really is not good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Space Marines. Pretty strong. Nothing new there. So, yeah, uh, Death Guard, unfortunately, not nearly as strong as uh, the boys in blue. They, they've got some cool cards, but uh, you'll probably want to mix them with uh, other stuff as well if you if you want any hope of winning. But if there are any other sub-factions you'd like to see me do a video of, let me know in the comments. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.